Sorry, I gotta save this room. Today I plan on spending a million hexagons on red crates. Blue crates. Oh, I love blue crates. I also want to give you guys an update on my progress and my goals for this season. That checkpoint's done. On to the next one. Don't worry though, I've already done the hard part. We've already sat here and grinded this frog mission, and we got uh, over a million hexagons. You reckon that's the last checkpoint over there? And today was my Up first ahead. time I got a perfect that's score. That's the last checkpoint. Which is kind of a big deal because you have to have one heck of a giga to make that happen. Kind of like this. That's a lot of melee. Yeah, I'm just doing it. Only a what? Over 2200 melee? That's a pretty good giga. And another great thing about this giga is. It can black weight and still not be over encumbered, so you never have to stop and drop meat. It's so nice. I did trade for this Giga. Uh, I made a few. A breed pair of Gigas, breed pair of Tech Rexes, Therizinos, Gas Bags, and that's about it. But. Here. Uh, I'm trying to get one more good playthrough in before Arc 2 pops, so uh, yeah, we don't have time to make gigas like this. It actually takes a long time to get all the mutations, and yeah, we're, we're not going to do that. But uh, what we do plan on doing, because in the trade that I made, the guy gifted me a space dolphin. So our goal is to ascend by doing the tech cave. And I want to be flying on a space dolphin by the end of this series. So that's where we're at. Let's go ahead and go back to base. And I'll show you my progress so far. Preparing to teleport. Oh yeah, I did start off on Aberration. But it was brutal and slow, so I went ahead and went over to Genesis 1 to make my main base because I got these Gigas, and making a Giga pin on Aberration from scratch would be uh, a little much doable, but difficult. Teleport! Doing it on now. Genesis is easy. I literally just uh, grinded the frog mission over and over and bought stone structures with hexagons. And we lagged out. <laughs> Welcome to Ark. That's the beauty of playing on official PvE. Everyone builds so many structures you lag out every time you teleport somewhere, so uh, maybe don't have your dinos in your inventory or someone will snatch them. And also, don't get attached. Dang, I'm thick. And one thing that made this worth it, um, besides being able to open a million hexagons worth of loot crates, which is going to be really fun, uh, I got tons of the mission loot doing this. And honestly, it made it kind of worth it. So I got a ton of good, useful stuff. Like hazmat suit, for instance. I plan on going and taming reapers in aberration later, so that's gonna be nice. Gas masks, always nice. Hopefully I got a whip.
I do have a whip. And you don't want to fall down there. There be monsters in these waters. And electric eels. I didn't even see that white whip there. That's funny. <laughs> Our beautiful pay to win gas bag. Let's go. Art is 100% pay to win and also full of Chinese hackers. So that's just where we're at. I mean, I'm sure there's American hackers too, but most of them have those, like, Chinese words come up in Chinese and such. So, yeah. But this is the last I plan on trading for. Uh, everything else I plan on doing legit. Just wanted something to get us a good start. I'm sorry, Giga. Come back. Oh no. Just a little bit of loot. That's only half of it. Okay, we're definitely not going to lag out in the water and die and lose everything, right? You guys would enjoy that way too much. Here it is. That's the Cobra Kai Dojo. all her glory. Mm. 
Yes, welcome to Cobra Kai. There's my awesome Rexes for boss fights. Uh, female Giga. Gash bags, there's Enos. Space Dolphin over there in the corner. It's baby gas bags. And I did actually go get the Magmasaurs the legit way, so there's that. I've got an awesome YouTube video on how to do that really easily, and you can do it at the very beginning of your playthrough. It's called I don't know, Stealing Magmasaurs Naked or something like that. First we're going to put up all this loot, and then we'll get to spin up some hexagons. So one way to do a meat run. Oh yeah, while we're over here, I might as well go ahead and show you. Check this out. So, uh, build a bunch of industrial grills, right? And we can cook up all the meats for the baby gigas. And then, we have a restroom. Got the industrial grills here so you can have some privacy. Some, we got the mirror here so you can shave in the morning if you need to. And the throne, of course. We are 26 minutes away from having baby gas bags. Let's fill up another one. Alright guys, let's go ahead and skip to the fun part here. Let's open some. Well, actually, ah, sorry for the tease. First things first, I'm buying sulfur, sulfur for, for my magma swords if I could talk today. are 
juvenile now, so if I'm not mistaken, they'll eat off these troughs, hopefully. Got some hexagons you're keen to spend? Holy crap, that's expensive. I just want 5,000. Goodness. Whoa, that's painful. Thanks, mate. But beautiful. That ought to tie them over. They want care, but you know, we'll, we'll deal with that later. We got loot crates open. I kept Joe waiting long enough. Kept myself waiting too. I'm actually excited about this. Hopefully, I get something good. You would think I would get something good. I mean, come on. Welcome to the Hexagon Exchange. We'll do it one at a time for a little bit. Then we might start doing multiple or something. Let's, Let's do this again. So, I got an Ascendant Beaver saddle. And Ascendant Fur Boots. A new air conditioner. Yeah, an Industrial Forge. That's a heck of a first crate. Let's go. Welcome to the Hexagon Exchange. Cheers, Survivor. A little bit of element. Desert cloth. Some kibble. The Dino Easter Egg Hat skin. Let's go. G'day, Survivor. Here's what I've got. Let's do this again. Ascendant hide boots. Man, I'm glad I spent money on that. Or hexagons, whatever. Tech crop plot. Interesting. That one was garbage. Got some hexagons you're keen to spend? Sometimes these crates are toxic. You'll sit there and grind out 35k hexagons, and you'll go buy one, and it'll give you a smithy. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Mastercraft hatchet. New fridge. Ah, tech dedicated storage, that's nice. Gravestone. Lord knows we'll need that. Welcome to the Hexagon Exchange. Let's start buying four at a time. Cheers, Survivor. Packy saddle. Yeesh. Extraordinary kibble, that's nice. Titanosaur platform. Bridge. Gas collector, we will be happy about that. Oh, ascendant. Carcanos saddle, that's big. Send it for you me a saddle, let's go. Veggie cakes. Love me some veggie cakes and kibble. Zipline motor, it's kinda nice. Mastercraft mm, scuba. It's still not. G'day, survivor. Here's what I've got. Thanks, mate. This is going to go by painfully fast. Unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. A new mirror, let's go. Hmm. New vault. Oh, the magma source idol. Beautiful. Ascendant tech rifle. I feel like that's going to be good. Tech grenade. Oh, ascendant trapo. Thingy. I might have to tame one of those. The Raptor Chibi. Let's go. That's a pretty name. G'day, Survivor. Here's what I've got. Thanks, mate. 
so far has it been worth it? Kinda. The Cinetech rifle? Shoot. Can't sneeze at that, but it did take hours, I don't know. Ascendant? Oh my goodness, that's expensive. I will probably never make that. The Dicarus saddle? That's nothing to sneeze at. Tech transmitter. Metal water reservoir for the farm. Ooh, Pog, dude. Ascendant Assault Rifle. I like it. Ascendant Fur BP. Nice. Tech calls. Yeah. Got some hexagons you're keen to spend? Yeah. It's pretty decent stuff so far. I'd like some more of that Ascendant BPs. Let's do this again. Dude, my hexagons are going down so fast. Oh, dude. Ascendant Long Night. That's good. Send a Bassy Saddle, also very good. Mastercraft Riot. The Golden Hespiornis Egg. Mm. A Dino Marshmallow Hat Skin, let's go. Carno Chibi. Oh, we gotta upgrade. Reindeer. Send a Wooden Shield, let's go. Yeah, that's about it for that. Survivor. Here's oh what I've got. God, it's almost over. That was fast, guys. Ripper of a choice. I think this is gonna be my Let's last one. Let's save the rest for odds and ends. Was this a little disappointing? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Why? Bruh. Yeah. Those last four were absolute garbage. Oh, wow, look, I got a canoe. Industrial Forges, though, that's nice. I'll take some of those. Chem Bench, sick. Oh, there you go. That's what you get if you grind for hours and hours and you get a million hexagons. Is it worth it? Kinda. And some of this stuff's pretty nice. And the Ascendant Fur Chess Piece BP, that's very nice. No pump shotgun though. No Mastercraft BPs. So it might not be worth it. It might be better just to go get drops. So that's probably what I'll do in the future. But, uh, well, here we are. And real quick. Mr. Leo's been up there working on the farm. I'm gonna go check it, check and see if he's made any progress. Oh yeah, check out my signs real quick. You gotta strike first. Cobra Kai never die. And of course, no mercy. Um, we have just recently got indoor plumbing. And that is a beautiful thing. What is that on the ground? Oh, that's my chibi. <laughs> well, I managed to find a Beautiful base spot. I mean, the view is amazing. G'day, survivor. But unfortunately, it is so high up in the air, I could not run a water pipe, even though I'm in the ocean bottom. It's too high above the ground. But, so, we had to do the whole metal water, metal, metal water reservoirs. Man, I really can't talk today. Here's our garden. This is how we're going to make veggie cakes so we can beat the alpha dragon. And that'll be in a few weeks probably because this is one times official. So, uh, yeah, I traded to get a start, but the rest of it's up to me and it's going to be pretty slow because we got to breed. We got to breed an army.
But we got a heck of a start, so. Definitely makes things a lot easier to be able to go and grind out a million hexagons. But alright guys, that'll do for today. I will bring you guys back if I have make any more progress. Which I'm sure I will. This is just the beginning. Uh, I'm going to play this playthrough until Arc 2 comes out. So who knows when that'll be. Hopefully soon we'll get on Unreal 5. And it'll be even better. But uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.